ePlan Solution Center. This is the new tool that is available for all our customers. Some of you have already used it. We use it on the internal side to actually support you. And it's a way for us to actually enter some tickets. You can see here the ePlan Solution Center and you can log in uh, when you have your user and password. These informations are useful and you can actually jump into the Solution Center directly from ePlan. All you have to do is go to your Options, Settings, User, Display, User Code and Address, and enter the email that has been registered on the Solution Center, plus your customer number. If you don't know your customer number, please get in contact with your ePlan reps. They will tell you what this number is. Now, once this is done, you have access to this extra menu here, Create ePlan Support Request. When you hit this menu, it actually registers what dongle is being used, so what license, who is the user with the email address, and a few details about the ePlan itself that you're running, what version you're using, what build you're using. Uh, it actually registers a little bit about the log files, so the last steps that you did. Uh, and it jumps into the solution center with all that information. So it uploads the log file, the information, onto the solution center. Now, the next step is to just log in here with the password that you registered, and it will log in your new ticket. You can describe this ticket and say, okay, I'm interested. This is basically just some form editing uh, Excel. Okay, how do I get a bill of material in Excel exported? Something like that, right? Along those lines. That's your question for your ticket. Everything else is basically registered. You submit this. On our side, and I'll show you now a computer. Oh, that's an interesting part here. You can see here that it actually comes up with a few frequently asked questions. So basically before, um, we actually have to answer, we can actually see if there are some frequently asked questions. So within that knowledge article base, we can find eventually some answers. If not, on our side, on the ePlan technical support side, we are looking at this database here and we can actually look at all the tickets to process and we should find the form editing Excel that just popped up here. Now, we are 700 people around the world that actually look at this and we can actually see here what was mentioned. Now, obviously, as I look at this form editing Excel, how do I get VOM in Excel exported? I have a comment for this. I actually have an answer for you. So I can right away go in here and say, I'll make this public. Um, use the utility labeling instead of the form reports. This will allow the summarized parts list to export an Excel file. See details in the attached document. Now what I'm going to do is within informations we have here on our server, I happen to know that some time ago we created a file like this. We created a document that helps users export to Excel and it's a step-by-step -step file that we created. We call them the how-to documents here internally. Uh, every team has solutions like that that are laying all over the place and obviously the nice thing about this solution center is that now we're all working with the same pool and uh, the same information and we can now suddenly get access to all these informations which were earlier only very local. So here I'm uploading the file and what's going to happen on your side as a customer you will have access to these files and these comments. Okay, So I'm just going to wait here two seconds, it's finished, it's there. So on my side I'm so far I'm, I'm done and on your side, you can actually go back to your ticket. So basically here you can say, okay, let's go to the ticket itself. Let's take a look. 
a new ticket was created, right? And you can see there is actually here my comment. Use the labeling and you can actually see here the attached file. If you're actually happy with all this, you can say, yeah, let's close the ticket. I'm happy with the answer. I know how to do it, okay? So you just submit this. This closes the 